Welcome in guys, welcome in. If you're new or just passing through to my channel, welcome. My name is Tam, I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. If you're returning, welcome back squad. I'm here today to do another general collective reading. We're not science specific here, we're also gender fluid. I may be saying you and I'm talking to them. I may say them and I'm talking to you, so put yourself in this story wherever you seem to fit. Remember that time and energy are fluid. So I could be talking about the recent past. I may be speaking about the present. I could also be talking about the future. So let's jump in and see what spirit wants to talk to you about today. I've got some oracles here. I got a new deck today. And so I've been playing with it um, for a good portion of today. Um, and so I'm doing this spread a little bit differently today. Um, still tells the same kind of story though. <laughs> so I feel like collective um i feel like you're seeing the higher perspective of whatever you're going through right now i feel as though you are tapped into your intuition your energy feels very grounded um you're staying grounded while being able to see above the confusion is what I'm hearing. Above the illusions. Part of the dilemma here, and this may not even be for you, because I see somebody here with this energy of being, um, it's like being in victim mode. So somebody here may have taken some losses or may be experiencing some loss um, material wealth. They could be experiencing some setbacks financially. And part of their dilemma or part of the dilemma here for whoever this is um, requires them to put some work in for things to realign themselves. Could be dealing with a Leo could be dealing with a Sagittarius okay um, I'm also seeing here where part of the lesson for someone here there is somebody here that may be experiencing some chaos and conflict in their lives. And the reason why it's because they've done something to tip the balance of the situation. And now whatever they've done, they may have, there's been some type of injustice here. There may have even been something done illegally um, that they cannot recover from is what I'm hearing. Um, regeneration is in the reverse. So there is no second chance. There is no redemption here due to this injustice okay you also have someone here potentially uh the feminine energy potentially a mother not a very good one i thought um somebody here who wants to live a really good life but doesn't want to Put any effort in to create that dynamic for themselves or their family um i feel like there's been some conflict there could be some conflict between you and this person and therefore there's a missed opportunity just because there's someone here who is still in this like you know unfair type of energy wanting to exact some type of injustice towards my collective there has been some judgment called about a relationship and this relationship is no longer in harmony so this could be you know a, a contract that's come to an end a relationship that is ended collective you may have made a decision to end a collect to end a relationship or to just withdraw from it emotionally okay This situation may have um, involved past incidences where someone may have treated you like an option or they may have created a bunch of confusion in your life 
for the purpose of this feels really gnarly. It kind of feels like this person may have created a bunch of confusion in your life in order for you to like turn to them for some type of help or assistance only for them to kind of turn their backs on you. That's interesting. And what they're wanting, I feel like somebody here wants some type of new beginning, but there's the energy of the fact that they're kind of like sitting still. So even if they're, this is kind of funny because again, I said this is like the fourth time I've recorded. Um, and in the first spread, the energy that I was getting was like, you know, the energy was supporting some type of, you know, like, giving someone assistance or giving, you know, like spirits is trying to give somebody assistance and guide them towards the path they're supposed to be on. Right. But there's someone here who's just really resistant to the word, you know, they're, they're, they may hear it and they're just ignoring it. Um, but it's literally like, there's an opportunity here for some type of abundant brand new beginning, but the person here is just not taking action or they're not, they're not doing anything. Their dilemma is the fact that they're not doing anything. And somebody now is feeling the the weight of the world is what I heard because of all the conflict that may be going on in their life right now. They're looking for rescue is what I just heard. They're looking for someone to rescue them after they put themselves in this position. Man, what did they do that at? Yeah, so now I said somebody here was like, okay, so there could be someone here that's in this conflict energy because you don't want to work with them. You're not, you know, you're, and you're not budging. You have no desire to engage. And so they thought that they would try to like, you know, one up you or outsmart you, but they ended up losing the opportunity They ended up losing the opportunity and now whatever, it's kind of like whatever they were blocking, trying to prevent for you, it didn't work. And now the options that they may have been trying to prevent you from having, you now have them and they don't. And they're definitely being judged for past actions, something that they've done in the past. I think you moved on from it because you kind of, you may have gone within and really recognize where things were out of balance. And this person is pissed off and jealous. They may, there may have been some lies here told or there's definitely here a failed plan. Like something didn't work, I said. You moved away. <laughs> I said it before these cars even came out. You moved away from something and the opportunities that they may have been trying to block you from having, they all they did was really, they just blocked themselves. Cause you have options. The options opened up for you the moment you, the moment you moved away from it. You decided to take a leap of faith and withdraw all of your energy from the situation and lean into something that was a little bit more, you know, exciting for you or something that you're a little bit more passionate about. Um, I heard your decision's final. But now this person wants to come towards you. But you've got your boundaries up and you're... You're following your intuition, but you're listening, you're listening to God and you're, and you may even anticipate this. There could be some distance between you. Somebody may be trying to travel towards you.
I also feel like somebody here took a, took some hasty steps without really knowing or having an expectation of what they were going to get in return for whatever their efforts were. And you're seeing this person or this situation for what it is. And I feel like you do, you may still have love for this person, but I feel like their presence in your life really is just for the purpose of trying to keep you stuck and bound to them. I feel like they also want to use their position in your life as a means to control you. So like if you had some type of, if they were an authority figure or you had, you know, respect for them at some point, they're trying to use that position, whatever position this person holds in your life. They're trying to use that position to instill some kind of fear in you for moving on. But really their motivation here is strictly materialistic. Their motivation is, is money. And it would be a poor investment of your time and energy to deal with them. I also feel like whatever it was that they invested in, it's not giving them the return that they were expecting. It's not giving them what they thought they was they were going to get. And that's actually come up a lot in the readings. People doing things with an expectation of getting a specific result and it does not turn out the way that they expected it to. Yeah, so you see somebody, you see through somebody's lies and they weren't expecting that because there goes the tower. There goes the lie, there goes the tower. They want, I feel like they wanted you to choose, look at the fool coming out twice. This person did something foolishly, have, they took some hasty action, it has something to do with money stability a home a job something like that and they had some type of expectation that maybe you would lose your job or you would stop working or you would lose your home and really all they did was poorly invest in keeping secrets and doing all this drama behind your back and all it did was literally they sealed the fate they sealed their own fate their actions created this whole shitstorm, and all it results in is your success, your successful extraction from the relationship. Because you already know it's a poor investment of your time and energy to even deal with them. And now they stressed out because they need money. So this person may want to come towards you. They may make a pitch with some expectation of you accepting their offer. But really what it's meant to do is it's meant to keep you stagnant. It's meant for you to prioritize them and this person is somebody who is verbally, mentally, emotionally abusive. This person, they're an abuser. And I feel like the only purpose of them coming back around, excuse me, is just to cause delays for you and to make you shift your priorities back onto them and away from whatever it is that you've been focused on. Somebody here is disappointed and has regrets about something in the past, but they don't want it to come to light. The thing is, they only they don't they don't want it to come to light because they're afraid of the changes that are about to happen, especially in their finances. Somebody here could have even been trying to delay, to delay your wish fulfillment, to delay your happiness. Cause I'm looking at, now I'm looking at the colors of the cards and I see all this happiness, the sun, I see all the, the potential here, 
but the sun is in the reverse and when it's in the reverse it's not that it's you know sun is the happiest card of the deck it's not that it's not gonna happen it's just delayed delay doesn't mean deny right i feel like somebody here is delaying the inevitable though somebody's money is about to be upside down if it isn't already there and I feel like they don't want you to see this. There's something here that they're trying to shroud in mystery or something. So if somebody's money is funny, they don't want you to know about it. I also feel like they, this person um, that you're dealing with may not work or may not have a job and there. There's a little stress here about it. They don't want to. They don't want to work. They want you to work. They don't want to have to put any work into creating their own abundance. So they'd rather you do it. Mm. You over here living in your wish fulfillment despite the injustice that this person carried out. There's unrequited love here. You are definitely not tripping off of them and you're focusing on your new beginnings. We like it. Yes. Yes. You are focusing on your new beginnings, your, you know, your new foundations, whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been building for yourself. It is coming together despite the injustice that was carried out against you. You're still shining. You're still glowing. You're still stable. You're still getting new opportunities. You're still celebrating the win is what I just heard. And this person is getting negative karma for trying to control your destiny. Somebody here may be wanting a handout. You got somebody here is keeping secrets. There is obsession here. There, okay, so there may have been three people here obsessing about how you do what you do. I feel like they're hoping that you would still be generous, kind, and loving, but yeah, no, because I don't see that. Somebody here could be getting negative karma, and they're kind of sitting in it because they've done something they made a choice but it is a choice this is a conscious choice somebody made a conscious choice to act in a certain kind of way there could be some money that's affected here or it could be they may have done something to either affect your money or it's affecting their money okay energy of these readings has been really weird all day long and it could be just because of the full moon in aries that's today if you're watching this calendarically i'll be posting it on the day of the full moon because i'm doing it on the full moon yeah whoever this person is they never really appreciated you and their lies are coming out Ooh. Somebody may have been lying on an empress. That's coming out. And this person is weighed down. This is why they're scared. They're weighed down because their door to personal healing and happiness has been blocked. They are unable. To, that's why I said there's no regeneration. There's no, there's no coming back from this because of whatever this injustice was that they carried out against you. They never appreciated you. So now they hostile. I heard they're hostile because you are blessed and highly favored. They don't have the kind of loving connections that you have. You may have somebody here in your life that like really loves you and shows you that they love you. And this person is like jealous. They're jealous. Why can't it be me? Envy. Why can't it be me? They're mad because it's, it's not them. So I'm mad and jealous of your life. Rat. Someone working against you 
or behind your back. So I'll take it. All right. Wheel indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. I don't feel like that's my collective. I think it's this other person, and that's why they're stressed the hell out because their personal healing and happiness has been blocked. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Table, hard work ahead. So I kind of feel like that's not for you. Successful outcome to your problems. There we have that already. Clouds, temporary problems, whale, great worry over nothing. Club, someone will try to make you do something against your will. Pay attention, right? Wishbone, a wish is granted. Scissors, disappointment in some affair. Mountain, major challenge to overcome. And dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. So there's an unsuccessful pro um, outcome to a problem and somebody may have hard work ahead of them. And these are temporary problems. But if somebody here is not willing to actually put the work in, and I think that came up in the in the very first read that I did today, um, where um, like there was all these obstacles or whatever, but the person, family wishes come true, well, there was a person that didn't want to actually do the work to correct the situation. So if you're dealing with somebody here and you have taken a position of I'm not doing anything because I didn't do anything wrong. Keep doing that. Don't do anything. There's nothing for you to do in this situation. It's for the other person, the person who started all of this. It's for them to correct. It is not your place to have to correct this situation. Okay. But if they don't come forward and they don't come to you to address the situation or the problem, they don't come to you with honesty and integrity, you have to leave it where it is. There's no reason for you to pine away for it or wish or pray that it comes back. Leave it where it is. Okay. Some things just aren't meant to be resurrected and you got to be okay with that. All right. You got to be okay with that. All right. Anything else, spirits? Let's see if there's any more messages. Yeah, somebody is stressed out. Same, different deck, same energy. Somebody is stressed out about your glow up. They are obsessive. They're obsessing about you. They are thinking about you, thinking of all the ways they can sabotage you, thinking of all the ways they can reel you back in because they're so freaking distraught that you moved away that you have walked away from the situation. This person may be dealing, somebody here may be dealing with like sleepless nights. I'm getting a lot of like regret energy. Somebody's feeling very low, depressed. Somebody could be low on, somebody could be suffering from mental, mental health issues um, and also suffering from some financial issues. But really they have the ability to turn their issues around but it would require them to actually take initiative to do something about it. And I don't see that. I just, I see a lot of sitting still and just being caught up in their head. Okay. Now here's a problem that I have it. They want to come back around to you and I, again, they don't come. Mm, this person wants to come towards you, but I feel like they come towards you with a forked tongue. Look at this, the tower. They come, they're coming at you with a forked tongue, right? But the reason why they're doing is they feel like if they come to you with this offer or an apology, 
that I feel like the purpose of whatever it is they're coming towards you with is really just to make you, I said it before, it's really to make you stagnant. It's, make, it's, it's meant to have you ruminating. It like it's almost like projection. Like this is the energy that they're in. They're in a space of you know they're ruminating. They're thinking about all the stuff that that has been done, all the things that have been said, and they're playing the shit in their head over and over again. They don't like being in that space. So how could how do I get rid of it? Let me give it back to the person that I'm obsessing over. They want you in this same energy. They never expected you to walk away. Not only that, they never expected you to walk away and to boss up, especially if you became an entrepreneur. If you somehow went after your goals with like almost obsessive determination. I'm also getting to here, which is something totally different. If you initially chose to go after like say if you became an entrepreneur you have some type of you know entrepreneurial spirit and you came up with some type of business idea initially i feel like the idea that you came up with was kind of a remedy you looked at it as a remedy to cure your financial situation so say if you were in a low financial space at one point and you came up with this brilliant idea, right? It doesn't have a whole lot of clarity, but you came up with a you came up with an idea that I think was fueled by the monetary aspects. I think once you shifted your perspective away from that, um, the dynamic shifted and now you may have more opportunities available to you than you did before because you shifted your perspective. That's interesting. Yeah. So fail plan. So it didn't work out. So, okay. So maybe you chose to, you had this bright idea, but it didn't really work out. It didn't work out the way that you thought it was going to work out. It was literally a fail plan. But then you had a, some type of shift and it changed the trajectory and it, it opened up more options for you. And now this person is stuck. You have no desire to work collaboratively with this person. You don't, you don't see eye to eye. I also have somebody here. I have the energy here of somebody who could drink heavily. I have somebody here who lies just to create conflict and really all they did was kind of sabotage themselves because now this person is losing resources. They never expected that to happen. And now you got somebody here who is struggling financially. Yeah, I don't know what to do with this reading. I don't know if I want to publish this. They're fighting over your Ten of Cups. Somebody is distraught because you're living in your wish fulfillment and you no longer are prioritizing them. You let it all go. 
all that backstabbing and betrayal and even though they even though everything that's happened to you has happened you are in a really good space you're successful you're getting public attention you're very guarded but you're also very protected you're very protective of your heart Especially because you realize that people have been lying to you. May also be a mother figure. You could be a mother. But this I feel like is your mother. Justice is out here in the upright. And a six of wands. You're getting the victory and success by making new choices and no longer investing in this person, in these people, or in this situation. It's a poor investment of your time and energy to be dealing with people in situations that don't do anything that cause, but cause you drama. Yeah. You're listening to your intuition. You're following spirit's lead. You are walking away from anything that's emotionally unfulfilling in order to find your happiness. You're trusting in the divine. You're trusting your intuition. Mm -hmm, look at that. It leads you right to a new beginning. Somebody wanted you all tied up and now they're all tied up and unhappy. You could be reconnecting or going into partnership with somebody from your past or um, this could be like a past life soulmate choosing a new cycle. So you could be going into a new love cycle. Look at all this abundance and, and prosperity and happiness. I like it. You definitely have some hater in your energy. And they're upset because you're so happy and life is going so well for you. Definitely could be a Leo. Or Scorpio. But whoever this person is, I definitely see that this person hasn't changed. Um, they're still stuck in the past. And I do feel like they need your financial assistance. Because of some... Because of these rumors and gossip and lies and drama that they started. It's swinging itself around. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to leave it there. Because now the energy is all weird. And I need to cleanse. I feel like I need a shower. Because this is gross. Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. If any parts of this reading resonated for you. Or gave you clarity over your own situation. Give the video a thumbs up. So we can circulate it to those who need the message the most. If you'd like to book a personal. More aligned with your own story. Description box. All my information is below. Follow me on TikTok. Instagram. I'm not even really on Facebook like that. Um, or Twitter. Alright. Anyway. I love you guys. Till next time. Take care. Um, thank you for the likes, shares, and subscribes. Thank you for getting me over 2,500 subscribers. Yay, go me. Um, yeah, that was weird. And I used a lot of cards and a bunch of different decks, but the energy is just like really weird right now. So this may or may not get on the channel. It may just go to members only. I don't know yet. We'll see. All right, guys. Love you guys. Till next time. Bye.